So in today's video, I want to discuss and appreciate a character that has been around for two decades, Haruno Musashi. I'll briefly go into what makes this character so unique and his overall history in the Ultraman universe. Welcome back to the Ultra Reviewer, where we discuss all things Ultraman. If you haven't already, do check out my recent videos explaining how awesome the Ultraman Gaia and Ultraman Nexus series really are. I'll place some links under the description. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Musashi's character was first introduced when he was a child in the movie Ultraman Cosmos The First Contact. Unlike many other human hosts who were brought in either as adults or the more recent trend as teenagers. However, the first time he meets Cosmos, he doesn't bond with him, but does display the ability to summon him at will with the help of a blue crystal given by Ultraman. Even at a very young age, he exhibits strong willpower and perseverance by insisting on what he saw in the skies, which was an Ultraman, even though nobody believed him. Some years down the line, he bonds with Cosmos in the beginning of the series when he becomes a teenager and joins Team Ice. With Cosmos' ability to cure living beings infected with some sort of external viruses or even calm their anxiety down and Musashi's dream of building a world where humans and monsters can coexist peacefully, the two make the most suitable human host and Ultraman pair simply because of their shared values of peace. Ultraman Cosmos! We do get to see Musashi's dream come true in the Ultraman Cosmos vs Ultraman Justice movie and briefly in the Ultraman Saga movie. Unlike many other human hosts, Musashi isn't very much tested in terms of his power, bravery or even ability to rise after defeated, but faces countless situations where his non-violence beliefs clashes with the military and even the members of Team Ice. So in the finale, when the threat of the Chaos Hader isn't destroyed but resolved, it was proven to everyone that Musashi's approach was one that works and it only did because of his strong sense of resilience. Ultraman Cosmos and Musashi till today remain as two separate beings. Unlike most of the other human hosts who permanently bond with their Ultraman at some point. For instance, Ultraman Daina with Shin Asoka and Ultraman Max with Kaito Taoma. In some cases, the human host is just a physical creation by the Ultraman itself. Like how Ultra 7 created Dan Moroboshi and Ultraman Mabius created Mirai Hibino. It is also interesting to note that Musashi was briefly separated from Cosmos after the finale of his series and rebonded with him permanently at some point before the events of the Ultraman Saga movie and after the Ultraman Cosmos vs Ultraman Justice movie. Cosmos! 
一緒に飛びたい子供の頃のように In our next video, we will discuss the character's journey after the Ultraman Cosmos series ended. Well, that's it for today guys. Let me know in the comments section if you enjoyed this new type of video and what I can do better to improve your understanding of my content. And I will see you guys in the very near future.